Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So this is going to be a very quick announcement video. I have published the Words at Scale Outline Extractor version 2. You can check it out and you can still use the previous version. Both versions are going to be on my Words at Scale tools website. So the newer one is here and the older one is here. So what is different? If we go to some target URL, let's use this one here and go to the outline extractor. Now you have this menu here. So if you select everything and click copy, then go to your favorite document editor of choice and paste it over. So basically you have the URL, the target URL that you have copied, which is new. You then get to see the word count as well. Then the H4s, so the H4s weren't present in the previous version. And also you get a very, very basic LSI. So you have the most used words and their counts within the article. And you have the most used phrases as well. So this is by no means a substitute for a Surfer SEO or Neuro Writer, but if you don't have any money, you can use that to optimize your article even further. And if you liked the simplicity of the previous two, you can uncheck the words and phrases. Still press copy and your results are going to be remembered. And yeah, just paste it over and you get a very neat version, which still has the target URL, still has the word count and still has the age force. Once again, both versions are active. I would appreciate if you could leave a review. And again, you can download both versions on my tools website. As far as the tools website goes, I wanted to show you a couple of new additions. So the first one would be the key keyword golden ratio calculator. It is very straightforward to use. You just basically follow the steps. So the step one is search Google for own title. For example, how to manifest a car. You press search and your search string has already been inserted into the Google. So basically you need this result here, which is 91, meaning that 91 URLs use this combination in the title. We go back, here's our calculator, 91. Then you need to know the search volume and you have two free versions, free options rather. The first one is Ahrefs, which is free. How to manifest a car. And I will be spelling correctly today. And the volume is 200. So you go back. 200, calculate KGR and your KGR value is 0 0.46, which is difficult. And then you have this reference here, which is 0 0.15 is easy, 0.16 to 0 0.25 is normal, and everything above 0 0.25 is difficult. And if you don't like Ahrefs for some reason, you have another option, which is the Hof keyword research tool, and again, free of charge. So that's the first tool. The second tool is the ChatGPT News and Trends. This is a, an RSS feed, and I would uh, invite you to bookmark this page. So if you want to get the latest news on ChatGPT and OpenAI, they're all here under one roof, so to speak, very handy. And again, uh, I would like you to bookmark this tools page because it's going to be updated uh, on a regular basis. And already you have a lot of tools. You have the low competition keywords, which you can find on Quora and Reddit. And the way it works is again, you can uh, use something like how to manifest with an asterisk, press search, and you only get the results from Quora. So very handy. Same for Reddit, you have the commercial intent keywords when you basically can insert your entire keyword list and get only the keywords with the commercial intent filtered out. You have the email spam checker, you have the how to flip a website workflow, which took me a while to produce. And this is again free of charge, a very detailed high definition document that basically tells you in a nutshell what the process of flipping a website looks like. 
Now a message to my patrons, if you go to the ChatGPT prompts library, you, can, you will see that it has been updated with many more prompts and commands. And you will also notice this ChatGPT tools and add-ons sheet, which I will be populating on a regular basis. And this is basically all the add-ons and Chrome extensions that, that work with ChatGPT and improve it. I have reviewed the web ChatGPT extension already, and here are a few more that I'm intended on reviewing, which give different functionalities to ChatGPT. And yeah, that was it. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'm doing this all for you, and I'll see you next time.